Okay, now before we go to question five, what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer the information that we got uh, with our angles, okay? So you can kind of see the pattern working here. All right, so the, remember the measure of angle M was 70, so transfer that over. You have this one here, that's hard to see. So we had that 70, so we're gonna transfer it over. You had that was in the original as well as your left. There's the reflexive property right there. You see it? Then let's take angle E off the big one. Remember angle E was 20. So we're gonna put him up here. Remember he is reflected in the green one. 20, 20. And remember you found your angle M-A-N to be 20, M-A-N, so he's 20. And you found measure of angle E-A-N to be 70. So there's the pieces coming together right there, okay? So now you can see how angle E reflected off to your yellow, uh, uh, sorry, uh, green one, and you can see how your M reflected to your uh, left-hand side, which is the red one. Any questions before we move on? Any questions before we move on? Clear as mud? So before we move on, let's go ahead and write um, our, our, sorry, our similarity statements, okay? So let's say we start with, um, let's, let's start with our big one. So let's start with triangle, uh, what do you wanna do? EMA, does that sound good? Okay, so let's start with triangle EMA. He is gonna be similar to, let's go to our middle side, the right side one. What would he be similar to? EMA, go to your green one, EMA, look at your rewrite, don't go back to the original, that's what I'm talking about, that's where you're gonna be thrown off. Look at your green one, do what we did on the warm up. What, right, what came? EAN. EAN, thank you. Steve. Similar to, let's go to the red one. Uh -huh. AMN. Okay, and you can you that will help you when you try to start finding those sides. Okay. Okay, question five. So what we're going to do on question five is we're going to take the information that they gave us. All right, they tell us that the length of side AN is nine. Okay. AN, that's that altitude, right? So he is shared in the two inside ones. So go to your two inside ones. So AN is right here, so he's got a length of nine. And then uh, AN on the little one. And when you do these, as we get further into these, you always have to go in and find, sometimes you'll only use them once, but sometimes you'll use them twice. In this case, you'll use them twice. And uh, the length of NE is 12. So NE, if you come up here, you guys will notice that that is only used once because that is the one on the right. So go to your green one, NE, which is 12. All right, we're gonna practice our Pythagorean theorem on this one, okay? So we have side length of 12 here and a side length of nine here. What do the 12 and nine represent in your formula? The what? The legs, 
Yes, they represent the legs, right? So let's come up here. So we have our a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Our legs are which two variables? A and B. A and B. All right, so let's replace in. So A, so let's do replace that with the 12. So we'll have 12 squared. And B will be our 9, so 9 squared. And C, our hypotenuse. So we're actually finding the hypotenuse. So 12 squared, 144. Plus 9 squared, 81. Now, be real careful here. Do not add those up and move them to the right. Keep bringing down the C. Okay? Now go back to the left, add those up, 144 plus 81. It's going to give you 225 equal to your C squared. I, we don't want C squared, we want C. So what do we have to do? Square root. Square root, excellent. So we take the square root, square root of 225. Excellent, thank you. So AE is 15, so let's mark that. So that's AE. So go up here, AE, 15, and AE, is in the green one he is also in your big one so go back to your original one where ae is and go ahead and put him in 15. okay now on question five they want you to find the side length of ma so if we come over to our red one here, M-A, you can make him X. And then they want you to find the length of M-N. He's also over there in the red one. And you can make him Y. And here's what I want you to do for me. Using your proportions, going back to what you did on warm up and two activities, I want you to find the value of X and Y for me. Okay, so to find the length of MA, so I went up here and I made that the X. So we're gonna set up the proportion. Okay, X corresponds to which side in the, the green one? X corresponds to what? EA, right? So EA, which is 15. You just found that one, right? So you, you, remember, when you find a value, you put it in. Okay, let's go back to the, go back to the little one then. As 9 corresponds to what? As 9 corresponds to what in your green one? 12. So do your cross multiplication and divide. So that was 11.25. And then we wanted the length of MN. Okay, which I labeled up here as Y. So we'll do the same thing. So Y, go back to your middle one there. Whoops. Y corresponds to what? Nine. Go back as, you use your nine, as nine corresponds to what? Over here. Twelve. Then do your cross multiplication, and that was 6.75. Label your triangles, okay? You don't label those sides. You're not gonna know how to set those proportions, okay? Very important. And again, like last semester, whenever you found a value, remember what I always told you to do, put it back into the picture because lots of times we use it, right, to get another. And we did that a lot with the angles, not so much for the sides, but we did it with the angles. Okay, 